I've decided that I'm gonna focus my energy on things that I can actually change. I think that I would consider this whole reupholstery project a uh, 4 or 5 out of 10. It has been feeling a little bit chaotic and uh, unfinished in here, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. In the meantime though, I've decided that I'm gonna focus my energy on things that I can actually change um, rather than sitting around and waiting for stuff to show up. So one of the big things that I've been wanting to do is kind of revamp the whole dinette area. I mean, we have the blue fabric and we already took the cover that was here off, it had to come off whenever we took the fridge out um, just to give ourselves as much room as we could to squeeze that thing out. Oh, that's the good news is that screw, it's just in between, they missed. Oh, uh, yeah. That one's out. That one's not out, though. So this is just bare right now, and I think the simplest thing to do will be to get some of that plastic trim that you adhere with like a heat gun and put that over it, and then I really want to reupholster these seat cushions and I found a really easy way to do it that doesn't require a sewing machine or anything like that. It's actually the same technique that my dad used to reupholster the cushions in their rig. So I think that's what we're going to do. There's a trip to Joann's in our very near future. We're going to do that today and I already have a to-do list written up with everything that we need to do. Um, so I'm going to measure some things really quickly to make sure that I have all of our dimensions and everything and then we're going to head into town and start gathering the materials that we need. It's just after like a week or so, it feels like it's time to start making some things happen. It's time to kind of try to bring some order into the chaos and make it feel a little bit less like a construction zone in here. So that's the plan today. <laughs> We didn't love all of our options at Joann's, and so before we make a decision, we're going to run into Hobby Lobby really quick and see if they have something that we like just a little bit more. For that reason, and the fact that you like Hobby Lobby. I do like Hobby Lobby, it's my favorite store. <laughs> I had a feeling. We just have one more stop and then we'll have everything that we need to do the upholstery and frame out the dinette. Today has been a very successful day. searched high and low for the trim that I was thinking of that goes on the front of the edge of cabinets, but neither Lowe's nor Home Depot really seemed to know what we were talking about. 
And then we kind of had a eureka moment and realized that we could use vinyl plank. And then we recalled that my dad had some left over from whenever he redid the floor in their rig. And he said we could use some of it. So that's what we ended up putting down. It was self-adhesive and then we reinforced it with liquid nails. Um, and it has a little bit of a wood grain feel to it as well. So whenever we finally get to the painting stage of the renovations, we'll be able to paint it. And I think it'll look really, really good. And it covers everything up and just kind of makes that edge look a little bit more finished. So I'm very, very happy with how that went. And we were able to get everything that we need so that we can kind of revamp this dinette area a little bit uh, tomorrow. I'll probably start on that because it's getting late enough now that I don't really want to get into it. But yeah, the space is going to look very cool by the time I get done with it. Also, we got our mail in from our mail forwarding service, Texas Home Base, and I had a little gift from my new friends, Sarah and Ian. They're the people that we bought Atchin from, and we just clicked with them, like, immediately. Um, it was really, really cool, like, you just, you make friends in the most unlikely places sometimes, and it's one of my favorite things about this life, is just the people that we've met. And Sarah sent us a sage bundle. It's got sage and palo santo and a little um, quartz crystal and a bundle of herbs and it smells so good and it's just it's such a thoughtful gift. I saged this whole space before we started moving everything in and like really settling in and this just this is like such a perfect gift and then she also gave me this book called Animal Speak and it's got little um, meanings behind the different animals that you see and like the spirituality behind it and everything and it's a book that she recommended to me because the day that we met them we saw a moose in their backyard and moose have like very deep transformational spiritual meanings behind them um, as like spirit animals and so she sent along a, a copy of this book and yeah it's just a really really cool thing Ian and Sarah you guys are great we love you guys. Really made my heart smile. I decided to just go ahead and get started on reupholstering these cushions because I just really wanted to get done. I'm tired of looking at the teal. Um, I'm gonna be reupholstering them with this pleather that we got at Hobby Lobby, which will be a lot easier to maintain and keep clean with the dogs and everything. I'm gonna be using a technique that my dad used in their travel trailer, which he got from a YouTube video, which I will link below in case you ever want to do something like this, but there is no sewing or anything like that involved. Um, I'm basically going to use the old cushion, this pleather, this board that everything is sitting on as part of the backing. Spray adhesive, a staple gun, and a circular saw to cut everything, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to start with this one first because it's the smallest, so I feel like it'll be the easiest to manipulate, and then we'll go from there. prepped all of the surfaces and now I have to kind of let it get tacky um, which takes about three minutes so I'm gonna let everything sit and then come back once it gets to that point I am very afraid that I'm going to mess something up so I am really taking my time 
triple measuring everything before I cut anything, making sure I mark everything I possibly can so that I have like guidelines to go by. Even though this is probably one of the more forgiving ways to do upholstery, I still don't want to mess anything up. So it's taking me probably a little bit longer on this one than it will on the other ones, but I'd rather get it right and not have to redo it again. sweating and that took way longer than I thought it would but it looks really really good and now that I think the learning curve is over I think the next two cushions will go a lot quicker having the air gun helped a lot <laughs> the manual stapler just didn't have enough oomph to get through the pleather and everything so having that was an absolute necessity getting the corners tucked was really really funny that took me the longest out of everything I kind of just I did my best <laughs> but all in all I think it looks pretty good I think it passes muster it's definitely better than the teal so I think I'm gonna have to call it there for now because I'm making dinner for my family tonight but this feels good this feels really good <laughs> Today definitely feels like fall, which is crazy because it's completely different from how yesterday felt, but a cold front blew in last night and now it's gray and windy and overcast. And to be honest, I would rather be doing anything but finish these cushions, but the rest of the week the weather is supposed to start to warm up and there are a couple of other things that we still need to do and we're getting down to our last week and a half here in Indiana. so. I need to not dilly dally on this. So I'm just gonna embrace it, be a little chilly, it won't kill me, and get these cushions done. Um, Cause it's gonna be very worth it in the end. tough to get this rounded corner to look natural and it was impossible to make the folds completely invisible um, even on the other one there are three little folds that you can see but I just tried to make them as symmetric and uniform as possible I think it looks pretty good I'm really really happy that this is done <laughs> So all in all, I think that I would consider this whole reupholstery project a 4 or 5 out of 10 in level of difficulty. It really wasn't hard. There was a little bit of a learning curve and the fact that the top cushions have that rounded edge definitely introduced an interesting element because I couldn't do just a very simple tuck and fold. I kind of had to make it look uniform and even all the way around the edge. The fact that I had an air compressor 
to help me with the stapling was huge. I don't know what I would have done. I wouldn't have been able to use just a manual staple gun. So if you're going to do a heavier duty fabric like the pleather that I used, I highly recommend using something like that. But all in all, you know, not really that bad and definitely worth it because buying new cushions, like I don't even know if I could do something like that, manufacturing something would probably be a bit of a nightmare too. I feel like this was the simplest way to update the cushions without spending a whole bunch of money and like reinventing the wheel. So if you are interested in doing something like this, I highly recommend it. I think it's very doable. I think anybody can do it. Just give yourself time and watch the video that I referenced. I will link it in the description and in a pinned comment below this video because that really helped me a whole lot. She outlines exactly what you need to do and pretty much everything you need to do it in that video. That is pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. It really helps my channel out and I really, really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments what you are excited to see going forward and what your ideas for this build might be. If you have any suggestions, tips, or tricks, I am all ears when it comes to all of that. Otherwise, Thank you for watching. Did I say that already? Thank you for watching and I will see you for the next video.